Hi, I'm David Burt, and today I'm going to talk about joint work with Sebastian Ober, Audrey Garrigo Alonso, and Mark Vanderwilk, trying to better understand variational inference in function space. So we look at a methodology proposed a couple of years ago in a paper by Sun, Jiang, Shi, and Gross, and the idea is to uh, directly approximate the posterior distribution over some latent function uh, with variational inference instead of first trying to approximate a distribution over parameters and then using that to, to get a posterior predictive distribution. So on the left hand side you have kind of the typical variational inference setup where you try to approximate the posterior distribution over parameters and on the right hand side um, is, is this kind of approach where instead you try to, to learn a distribution which is similar to the posterior distribution uh, over latent functions directly. So why would you want to do this? Well, if your main focus is prediction, then parameters are really only interesting because they affect the functional relationship between inputs and outputs. This isn't always the case. Sometimes parameters are of independent scientific interest. But for many machine learning tasks, we're really mostly interested in prediction. And if that's the case, uh, even if our model is parameterized, we really want to find a distribution over parameters so that we end up with a similar predictive distribution. And in cases where your model is non-identifiable, could be quite different. So there could be distributions over parameters, which aren't really similar to the, the posterior distribution over parameters, but still induce good predictive distributions. Unfortunately, there's some challenges to this approach. So in particular, the, the distributions over these latent functions are generally infinite dimensional. And so it, it can be hard to tell if the objective function that, that's been written down here is even finite. Also, the KL divergence depends on these distributions on, on this infinite index set. So some approximation is needed to compute the objective function with, with only finite computation. And also, usually the, the prior or the approximate posterior uh, is implicit. So you can sample it from both, but you can't evaluate the log density ratio between the two or compute the KL divergence in closed form. So in this work, we want to look at how these additional approximations uh, affect the quality of inference, as well as when the objective function is, is finite. So if the objective function is infinite, it's a bit hard to say we're doing variational inference because we can't really be minimizing a KL divergence, which is always infinite. So uh, if you apply the data processing inequality, then you can actually upper bound this KL divergence in function space by the KL divergence in weight space if all the distributions have the same parameterization. And so any case where you would typically apply variational inference in weight space, variational function inference in function space is also well defined. So that seems like some good news. And in fact, variational inference in weight and function space are identical whenever uh, each parameter setting corresponds to a unique predictive function. Um, so we also have some negative results though. And basically if one of your distributions, so either your prior or approximate posterior is a, is a non-degenerate Gaussian process, and the other is, is kind of a nice parametric model, then the KL divergence is always going to be infinite. Uh, so, so here you don't really have a well-defined objective function to minimize. And also um, in the case where you have uh, ReLU BNNs of different widths, in the single layer, we show the KL divergence has to has to also be infinite as long as uh, the distributions of the parameters are, are some of the, the standard ones you would use. So the second part of our work was looking at how uh, implicit inference and the modified objective function affect uh, affect functional variational inference in cases when things are well defined. Uh, so we really zoom in on the case of, of linear regression with Gaussian priors for that. And that's just because then we can compute lots of things in closed form. So we can do exact Bayesian linear regression, which is going to be the same in weight and function space. But we can also modify the objective function and not have to worry about implicit inference because everything is, is still Gaussian. And so we can still compute KL divergences in closed form. And so we can build up to the approximation proposed in the Sun et al. paper, which is kind of the rightmost picture, uh, and try to disentangle that from, from various uh, other uh, schemes where we only modify the objective function and don't do implicit inference. So we have lots more of experiments on Bayesian linear regression in the paper. And if you're interested in proposing a new method or looking more at functional variational inference, I'd really encourage you to check out that benchmark. So thank you for listening. And please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or just want to chat more about any of these things.